I'm gonna need you to move out of my way. It's not happening. You're gonna stay out of my office where we have sensitive files. <laughs> what is your problem, man? You. Okay. And so what are you doing? In Port Jefferson, New York, that is village attorney Richard Harris. He is getting corrected by this man. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Sean Paul Reyes is conducting a First Amendment audit in the Port Jefferson City Hall. What's your problem, Richard? Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? The incident began when Reyes started peacefully filming in the public building and met town administrator Joe Palumbo. Can I ask you to stop recording? Well, you, you, can, you, know, you, you can you can ask me to stop. The reason why? <laughs> no, you can you can ask me to stop recording. Yeah, that's but I, I'm not respectfully. I'm not going to. I'm just I'm just recording the building here. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Attorney Harris then stepped in. Yeah. He's walking around videotaping the building. That's exactly what do I'm that. doing. You yeah. can't do that. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, like who you are you? Why are you being? To leave now. Why are you being this, so this hostile? This is a public building, and we can't have people taking videotapes. So this, I don't know what your intentions are. Hmm. As Reyes noted, the town hall takes videotapes from surveillance cameras. Look how many cameras are in this building. One, two, three, four. Attorney Harris oh, summoned God. local constables. What's your intention here, sir? My intention is what exactly what I'm doing here. What's Filming. That? What is your intention? To come out of here and act like an a-hole. Why? What's the purpose of that? Now we're getting now we're getting rude, huh? <laughs> now we're getting rude? Mm -hmm. You already you've been rude, my friend. You've been rude. What's your business? You guys aren't allowing me to conduct my business. What's your business? Did you know that that's against the law to prevent somebody from conducting business What's in a public business? building? Mr. Town What's Attorney. Your Mr. Town Attorney then called the Suffolk County Police. <laughs> Intruder. During the wait, officials shut down the entire building, and Attorney Harris got humiliated again. What's that? I don't need to tell you. Get out. I don't need to tell you what my business is. Right now, you're just bothering us and harassing us. How? I'm. I haven't said a word. You came out to speak to me, Mr. Attorney Richard. You secure offices. No, I wasn't. No, I was not. Lie. And this is why I record. You're recording. Why can't I record? See those cameras? Eventually, a Suffolk County sergeant arrived, told the town officials to back off, and noted that Reyes was exercising his constitutional rights. Hey, Sarge. You, you educated everybody? Everyone's educated. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. No. Richard, what you did here today was not a good look for you. You came over here and started escalating with the citizen. And that guy who escalated, Richard Harris, is a public servant, a village attorney who should know better. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. Kudos to First Amendment auditor Sean Paul Reyes, also known as Long Island Audit. He stayed calm and matter-of-fact, even as he was being treated terribly by uneducated local officials who were clearly on a power trip. And by the way, did you catch the Suffolk County police sergeant at the end who told Reyes, good seeing you? The county police and Reyes have a respectful relationship because of Reyes's prior work and peaceful approach. Across the United States, there are a growing number of constitutional auditors. They are using their cameras and their knowledge on public property and the threat of humiliation to force authorities to become enlightened about constitutional rights. Even if the progress only comes one police department, one library, and one city hall at a time, it is progress nonetheless. Bravo.